Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Saturday morning. I'm going to use the Church of England's publication, Prayers for Use During the Coronavirus Outbreak, which is available free online from www.cofe.io forward slash slash church online. So let's just begin with a moment of silence. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. God is close to those who trust in him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. So we'll pause for reflection as we offer the day to God. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So now we'll have our first reading, which is Psalm 97. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and consumes his adversaries on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, and all the peoples behold his glory. All worshippers of images are put to shame, those who make their boast in worthless idols. All gods bow down before him. Zion hears and is glad, and the towns of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God. For you, O Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the lives of his faithful. He rescues them from the hand of the wicked. Light dawns for the righteousness and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we'll now hear the Gospel reading for this morning, taken from Mark, chapter 1, beginning to read at the 13th verse. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophet Isaiah, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way, the voice of one crying out of the wilderness. Prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt round his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. In those days Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart 
and the spirit depend the spirit descending like a dove on him and a voice came from heaven you are my son the beloved with you i am well pleased and the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness he was the he was in the wilderness 40 days tempted by satan and he was with the wild beasts and the angels waited on him this is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, let's spend a few moments reflecting upon these readings. With the psalm, I'm looking to the very Reverend Professor Martin Percy, Dean of Christ Church Cathedral and Dean of Christ Church College, Oxford, for inspiration. Martin tells us that this psalm reminds us that we should be careful of what we long for. The worthless idol can be a metaphor for something that we long for, that we crave for. For some this might be power, for others it may be wealth, and others something else. Within the hierarchy of international companies, we find people who long for senior positions or for recognition. Martin says that these may be fine objectives to aspire to, but in excess, the greed they produce can corrupt and distort other relationships, our humanity and society. The psalm says, all this will melt before God. What we most desire to possess may become our possessor. We should first strive for the kingdom of God and its righteousness, says Jesus. So. Let God possess us. And the Gospel reading then reminds us how John the Baptist gives us an example of how, having recognised who Jesus is, stands aside and supports him, stands behind Jesus in every way. So let us pray. Loving Father, keep us under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful, and lift up all who are brought low. We may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. Loving Father, you are always with us. You are with us in the day and in the night. You are with us when we are healthy and when we are ill. You are with us when we are peaceful and when we are worried. Help us to remember that you love us and are with us in everything today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, you taught us to love our neighbour and to care for those in need as if we were caring for you. In this time of anxiety, give us strength to comfort the fearful, to tend the sick and to assure the isolated of your love and your love for your namesake. Amen. Loving Father, we pray for harmony in the world and ask that you give leadership and wisdom to those in power. We pray for an end to the riots in the US. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And loving Father, we pray for all who are in need at this time, particularly those suffering from the COVID-19, the anxious, the sick, those caring for others, and for those trying to find ways to comfort and cure those who are suffering from it. We ask that you walk with them, sustain them, give them strength and courage and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for the repose of the souls of those who have recently died 
and now in your heavenly embrace. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we pray for hope of better times to come, when your kingdom comes and the world is rid of this virus and people have learned to live in harmony. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And I invite you to join me in saying the words of the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and preserve you from all evil and keep you in life eternal. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I'm safe. God bless.